peace and blessings. This is Raisa Kiwala, the divorced Muslim coach. And my one of my favorite verses in the Quran is verily in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest. And Ramadan being the month of the Quran where we find solace and comfort in, we're going to look at this next verse through that lens of peace and and just being at rest. And so and this next verse comes from chapter 3 verse 139 and it says do not lose hope or or be sad how simple how a basic and how profound right that that sentence or that verse is Allah telling us this is Allah's message to us don't lose hope trust me like you don't need to lose hope and, and you don't need to be sad right and and Allah is telling us here how to think right when we start going um, into the thoughts that we're sad like you know having sad thoughts which is normal right sadness is a normal emotion to feel it's part of the human experience of feeling sadness look we can't control our feelings when they come like our, because it's like you know when you feel something you felt it um, and so you felt it, but you can't unfeel it, right? And so we feel the sadness, right? We are meant to feel, feel a whole array of feelings, but we have a choice in how we respond in terms of um, not acting on our feelings. So, you know, for example, right, uh, we want to, no matter how we're feeling, always making sure that we are responding and we're behaving and we're acting and showing up in a manner that's pleasing to Allah, even if we're angry, even if we're, you know, frustrated or sad or overwhelmed. You know, that example of the, uh, the woman who, um, the prophet peace be upon him sees grieving for her child at the uh, at the grave right at her child's grave and she snaps at him and she's like well you don't know and and he tells her that you know to have patience and and she just snaps and later on she realizes that it was the prophet peace be upon him that she was talking to and you know um he he goes on and says that patience is at the first strike of calamity so it's in that moment that we want to um be able to have that level of patience right so how can we handle this how can we do this right when you're feeling sad how do you not how do you not snap how do you not um you know take it that feeling out on someone else perhaps someone that you care about someone that you're close with you know and this happens a lot in personal relationships with your parent with your child with your spouse like these people get the brunt of our feelings and our emotions and we just it just spills out right but we're still ultimately still responsible for our action and our behavior like subhanallah prophet peace be upon him he when his son ibrahim died he did feel he grieved he was grieving but in those moments of grieving and having extreme sadness he had a peaceful sadness he was able to feel the feeling of sadness but still recognize that i won't say anything that you know that displeases allah like he's not going to behave in a manner he didn't behave in a manner of you know of acting out based on his sadness he was it because he was in that state of accepting the qadr of Allah right in that moment he was so connected to Allah and intertwined with him that you know he didn't have any loose or break in his connection with Allah and um, this is possible to have because uh, P Prophet peace be upon him is our example, right? And um, I know people who have experienced this and I myself have been able to experience a peaceful type of sadness when I'm in a state of loss, I'm in a state of grief, I'm in a state of, you know, hardship. Um, and that it comes back to that verse that I shared at the beginning that only in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest so in that particular moment are we remembering Allah during our hard time in that moment and you know in this in this verse that I shared about don't lose hope and don't um, uh, be sad 
when you're when you're having those thoughts and those feelings of sadness it doesn't lead to that overwhelming state of hopelessness of despair um, which we mentioned before that that is when shaitan swoops in because he know he studies you and knows you really well and he can prey on you like a predator with your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses right and so when we fall into that that hole of despair that darkness it's so hard to climb out it becomes feels so lonely and alone that oh nobody else understands and and the light we don't see the light we don't we're not in that space of light or truth or you know clarity which is all coming from allah and so we don't want to allow shaitan to have opportunities to take advantage of us in those dark dark moments and so you know getting having that strong secure connection with Allah to stay in that light to stay in that um, that space of hope we need a good connection with Allah um, and so you know to be able to remember that patience is in the first strike of the calamity to even remember that we need a good connection with Allah and as I've been saying and sharing that you know sometimes our feelings uh, cause a disconnect uh, and a poor connection with Allah and so uh, right now I just want you to build awareness and I'll share more about that missing part uh, you know further on in in Ramadan and and let you know how um, I can help you with that as well but for now just focus on your your connection with Allah just doing your best just building awareness and let me know if you found this you know helpful like it um, and respond and share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be sharing more of these vid videos um, as they come out in Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.